Hello friends. In this section, we want to calculate the percentage of porosity in ImageJ software. Thank you for liking the video and I am happy that you follow my channel and ring the bell to be notified of my new videos. Well, let's go to the software. First, we enter the desired image into the software. You can see that in this image there are black areas that represent porosity in the structure and we want to calculate the percentage of these porosity. First, we need to make the image 8-bit. Next, we calibrate the image by selecting the line in the menu and holding the shift key on the keyboard to draw the line. Image calibration training is described in detail in the training part of the software. Then, from the analysis path, we select the option to adjust the scale and calibrate the image. Now we have to clear the scale line so that it does not cause errors in the final calculation. For this we select this option and select an area of the sample background so that the color of the software becomes the color of the background. Now select the range of the scale line using the square tool and finally select the clean option from the edit option. Now, in the next step, we have to do the thresholding. For this we select the adjustment option and the thresholding option from the image header. At this stage, a new window will open for you. Thresholding operation must be done in such a way that only the pores in the image turn red. So with the two levers we have, we decrease and increase until the pores turn red. Here, the point that I have to tell you is that if the border of your grains turns red along with the pores, you should use the brush tool to cut off the connection between the pores and the border of the grains. Now we select the apply option. Now we select the wand tool and in the analysis header, in the tool option we select the ROI management option by clicking on the pores and pressing the add option one by one we enter the pores into the software and at the end by pressing the combination key control A, we select all the points and select the measurement option. As you can see, the area of each of the pores is given in this column. By summing these three areas, I divide it by the total area of the image. The area of the image is at the top of the image. We can get the percentage of porosities. Thank you for your attention. Wait for the next videos.